Boogie woogie woogie, my dudes. Unironically, I've been listening to this song, Hype by D King. I don't know why. I think this kid is supremely talented, doesn't have a whole lot of music, and playing the having a child being good at rap card well at the moment. And in thinking about that, it actually got me thinking about Matt Ox. Matt Ox is someone who was everywhere at one moment in time to the point where literally Drake offered him. Honestly, Drake was trying to stiff a kid, and, and no one but I now know about him and Millie Bobby Brown. I don't know how I feel about it. Obviously, I'm, I'm kidding. Drake offered Matt Matt Ox, $150,000 for Overwhelming. If you look at the success of Overwhelming and what that's done for Matt Ox's career, he's leveraged it into 30 million plays, a really good like to dislike ratio. Obviously, like Oogie Main and everybody involved, like Oogie Main ended up working with Drake. So that's hard. Like the fact that Oogie Main leveraged that into a, a like a legitimate career, awesome. But now Matt Ox was kind of left in this ethereal plane of Drake wasn't really effing with him. And X kind of took him in and brought him on uh, a song that everybody tends to hate, but again, I think is honestly pretty good. I think when you look at what Maddox brings to the table, he brings the more iconic parts to the songs to the table, and he's really young. This kid is 16 years old, recently 16 years old, born in 2004. He signed to like Motown, Warner Music Group, you know, like he is not gonna fall off at any point in time. I don't know how long his contract is, but they are going to try to get value out of Maddox, but the fact that they've been quiet with him, then they're letting him grow and age is perfect, because I think he's actually bringing something very unique to rap. And obviously, like again, I, I said it, I'm not a huge fan of children's stars. I don't I don't like putting children in the, in the spotlight. I like to have children actually age and grow the way that they should without a thousand eyes on them because you don't know who you are and the world is judging you for what you're doing when you don't know even know who you are. I don't really think people should be judged past what they do when they are an adult. So uh, I think once you're an adult is when you should start being judged for your actions, not so much when you're a kid, unless it's really egregious. But I don't think Maddox has really done anything that crazy. I don't think he's subjectively that bad at music. I'm I'm not gonna check out a solo Matt Ox song right now, but again, he's 16, signed to a major label. I think they signed him for the potential. Uh, he's working with people like Chief Key. He's working with people like Valet. Like he's he's working with actually talented artists in a similar field. Again, he had the wherewithal to decline a $150,000 offer from Drake for his most popular song, you know? Uh, worst comes to worst, he owns that. That's awesome. Or really, Warner owns that. A lot of these children's stars tend to get effed over by their parents. A lot of these children's stars tend to sign deals that they obviously can't have the wherewithal to know what they're getting into. I think Matt Ox probably getting the downtime to not be in the spotlight is really good. And I think Warner and Motown will have the budget to put Matt Ox in the spotlight if it's ever the time. And I think maybe when he's 18 or in his 20s so maybe like three or four years from now we might be looking at maddox a little differently because if you look at what he's accomplished at his age it is actually subjectively impressive now could maddox potentially be not worth talking about at some point in the future too absolutely he has a lot of the makings of a flash in the pan artist really I, the the average rap retirement age is kind of changing nowadays you're able to rap for a little bit longer thanks to people like jay-z and thanks to people like kanye who were still rapping at the age of that they are at but i wouldn't be surprised if people start retiring out of music like logic is because you get to a certain age where rap kind of is is not what you should be doing you should start leaning more in the business side of things like a jay-z and a kanye now they still occasionally drop music but they are ceoing you know every every artist should think ceo status and Maddox is networking with people while he's young. People are going to grow with him that he knows. He has all the budget of a major label, which is awesome. He's making money while he's 16 and his life-changing money at 16. But I think the difference is if he'll be able to make life-changing money past his 20s. And I think he's making the steps to do that. I think people are way over-hating on him, to be honest. I think they just got to give him time. Because I'm sure X's passing also probably changed a lot for him. Because it seemed like he had a close relationship with X. Communicated with him at least enough to probably be rattled by the death of someone like that. And he's a young kid who's been going through a lot of life-changing stuff as it is. I think what it comes down to is... Maddox, though, having enough people around him to put together a solid EP, to put together a solid project around when he's like 18, it makes a little bit more sense for him to be rapping maybe in his 20s. But right now, it's kind of this gimmick that you could, you, you, I feel like they had the gimmick, they had the time for the gimmick, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of over the gimmick. Though, as I, again, I, I notice as he gets older, it actually does make like like it's starting to make more and more sense and look more and more legitimate and like real uh, this is also in the wake of his most recent single pop it um which i i caught 
and again i think this just makes sense for a 16 year old kid to be making and uh, this particular 16 year old kid to be making i don't think it's going to be great or really catch anybody's attention i think again what it needs to do is kind of like shut down give him some time to grow and then come back but i don't mind him growing in the public eye either it seems like they've already kind of like if you're already a child star in my eyes then it's like well it's the once all eyes were already on you it's kind of already over because that one moment if it's almost better that it's more spanned out at that point because if it was just one moment that almost be more traumatic to a child but instead it's going to be traumatic over time but uh maddox's psychosis aside i think all things considered he's still going to grow but it's going to be way smaller pockets of growth all of a sudden because he's not as relevant. I don't see why he couldn't maintain relevancy as soon as he turns into his 20s. Like some, some dude could just tweet, Ayo, Maddox slaps now. And then this kid could be everywhere overnight. So I, I don't think he's worth counting out because, again, he has a lot of connections in the industry. Even if he's not industry connected anymore, I think he's still industry connected to Motown and Warner. But I, I don't know. Point being, I think Maddox could slap eventually. Just saying.